Over the years, people have traveled to Calvin University and Calvin Theological Seminary in Grand Rapids, Michigan to worship and learn. This year, we travel virtually around the world to many different worshiping communities. We are living in a time of fear, upheaval, and so much death. Each community has been shaped by the COVID-19 pandemic in different ways. However, we know that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We cling to this promise, which will guide us for this online experience. The Lord be with you today. Welcome to this service of prayer. As we draw on the structure of the ancient daily office to guide us as we hear God's word and unite our hearts in prayer to the Lord today. We do so on a day of historic significance in the United States, while also being deeply aware of many crises, needs, opportunities in so many different places around the world, especially places where conference participants are drawn. We are grateful for you, mindful of you. Today, all of these crises, needs, and opportunities provide the backdrop as we hear how texts of scripture ancient hymns resonate against the backdrop of these events. May the Lord be with us as we join our hearts together in prayer. Thank you for joining us. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord's unfailing love and mercy never cease, fresh as the morning and sure as the sunrise. In the fourth century, Ambrose of Milan penned these words that we pray today. O splendor of God's glory bright, from light eternal bringing light. O light of light, the fountain spring, O day, all days illumining. Come, very sun of heaven's love, and lasting radiance from above, and pour the Holy Spirit's ray on all we think or do today. Teach us to love with all our might, drive envy out, remove all spite, turn to the good each troubling care, and give us grace your name to bear. All glory be to God most high, to God the Son let praises rise, whom with the Spirit we adore, forever and forevermore. Here are these words from Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God and the sky proclaims its maker's handiwork. One day tells its tale to another and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands and their message to the ends of the world where God has pitched a tent for the sun. The sun comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. The sun rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The teachings of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to, to the simple. The statues of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened and in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can detect one's own offenses? Cleanse me, Lord, from my secret faults. 
Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Do not let them get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amazing God, your glory is revealed in your creation and law. And your love is revealed in Jesus Christ, the word made flesh. You have freed us from sin and death. You have given us wisdom and joy. By the power of your spirit, make our words and thoughts worthy offerings of praise. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord from Psalm 131. O oh Lord, I am not proud. I have no haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters or with things that are too hard for me. But I still my soul and make it quiet like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is quieted within me. O oh Israel, wait upon the Lord from this time forth forevermore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Christ, our lives and our world seem so tangled and complicated. Help us to desire nothing else but that you will always be present to us and that we may always be present to you. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord from Isaiah 42. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the streets. A bruised reed will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will be faithful, bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teachings. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heaven and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and a spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by hand and kept you. I have given you a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. This is my name. My glory I give not to other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come past, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now hear the word of the Lord from Matthew 22. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest. Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second 
is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the word of the Lord from Luke 1, the song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to his anc our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham, to grant that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, rejoicing in your blessings, trusting in your loving care for all, we bring you our prayers for the world. We pray for the created world, for those who rebuild where things have been destroyed, for those who fight hunger, poverty, and disease, including COVID-19. For those who have power to bring change for the better and to renew hope. In the life of our world, your kingdom come, your will be done. On this day of a presidential inauguration in the United States, we pray for each nation of the world and those who govern them and shape our common lives. For those who keep the peace and administer justice. For those who teach, those who heal, and all who serve larger communities. In the life of our land and every land, your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for people in need. Those for whom life is a bitter struggle. Those whose lives are clouded by death and loss, by pain or disability, by discouragement or fear, by shame or rejection, by moral trauma and misinformation. In the lives of those in need, your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for those in the circle of friendship and love around each of us, children and parents, sisters and brothers, friends and neighbors, and even our enemies whom you call us to love. In the lives of those we love, your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray for the church in its stand with the poor, in its resistance to racism and colorism of all kinds, in its love for the outcast and the ashamed, in its service to the sick and neglected, in its proclamation of the gospel, in each and every place, including those represented among us, in the life of your church, your kingdom come, your will be done. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Guide us to do always what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Please join in your own heart language as across the, the continents we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace.